Hi everyone, I'll be showing you how you can check the health of your drives using SmartMon Tools and G Smart Control. SmartMon Tools is the command line tool set to monitor and diagnose your drives, and it uses Smart, which is self monitoring, analysis, and reporting technology. And G Smart Control is the GUI front end, which makes it more user friendly. After installing, I'll show a good drive, a failing drive, and a bad drive. And this software is available on other OSs such as Windows and Linux, but I'm going to be demonstrating this on GhostBSD, which is based off of FreeBSD, that's Unix like. So to get started, opening up a terminal. If you just want the command line tool set, you could just install SmartMon Tools. Since I also want the GUI, G Smart Control, I'll install that, which will install SmartMon Tools as well. sudo package install g smart control put in my password and it shows that it's going to install g smart control and smart mon tools as well yes all right it's installed i currently only have my one disk connected so if i do a g part show i'll show my disk ada0 so then to use the command line tool set i can do a sudo smart control show all information for dev da0 that should be dev ada0 and we can see all the information here on the command line but to make this easier i'm going to use g smart control all right we see here and there's my one disk and we see here that smart is enabled so i can just double click on it and it'll show everything, the model, device, serial number, firmware, capacity, sector size, and so on. And I can go to attributes, and it'll show all the attributes here. And you can hover over any of the attributes and it will show what it is. So for example, power cycle count, number of complete power start, stop cycles of a drive. And you can scroll down and you can see all of the attributes. And then there's statistics and then it'll show some of the values here and there's also as well as self-tests so self-tests are built in tests within the drive design to recognize drive fault conditions all self-tests are saved to user data the test can be performed during normal system operation but will take longer to complete if the drive is not idle you will not be able to access the drive's smart data while a test is in progress so you can do a short self-test or an extended self-test. So if I do a short self-test, do it execute. So this will take about two minutes. All right, the test completed and it completed without error. So that's good. And then next here is the error log. In my case here, there's no errors, so that's good. And then there's the temperature log and it says the current temperature Finally advanced, and it shows the capabilities, the error recovery, selected self-test log, physical, and the directory. And you can go to the bottom, hit view output, and you can save it to a file if you like. And I'm gonna hit close. And now I'm gonna plug in a failing SSD. I'm gonna hit F5 and do a refresh. And so this is it, the A Data SP600. And it says here the basic health check is passed. But if I open it up and I go to attributes, and I got a number of attributes that are in pre failure, and some are actually red. And if I hover over it, it says the drive has a failing pre fail attribute. Usually this indicates A that the drive will fail soon. Please back up immediately. And if I scroll down, there's another one here for temperature. It's pre failure as well. And the bad block count, ID number 169, there's a large number of bad blocks seen on it. So that's not good. And going to statistics, and we can see the lifetime power on resets, only 53. So it hasn't been used that often. And so if I try to mount a partition on it, we'll see what happens. So going back to my terminal, and I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to type in G part show. And so the disk is DA0. 
and here are the different partitions. So I'm going to go and mount the NTFS partition here. So I'm going to go into the media directory and there's a test directory and it's empty. So I'm going to mount it there. So sudo ntfs-3g, it's an NTFS partition. I'm going to mount it as read only and it's S1. It's going to go to test, put in my password. And normally when you mount a partition, it should be right away. But we can see here that it's still trying to mount it. It's having an issue. And if I try to cancel, control C, it's not even accepting it. So if you're having an issue with your drive, you're not able to access files, you're not able to access directories, or you're not even able to mount it, you can check the smart data on it and see if there's any issues. All right, so this has crashed. So I'm just going to close this, close terminal, go back into G Smart Control, I'm going to close. And now I'm going to remove this drive, I'm going to refresh, it's no longer there. And now I'm going to put in a bad drive. If you have a completely bad drive, it won't even show any information, as in this case. It sees that there is a drive, slash dev, slash DA0, but that's it, there's nothing more. So if I go to enable smart, for example, it says here mandatory smart command failed, and I go to show output, and we can see here it's having an issue identifying the drive. I'm gonna close. And so that's it. That's how you can check the health of your drives using Smart Mon Tools and G Smart Control. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.